Hi, so I've literally just come indoors from my business trip and I see in front of me a package from Indonesia. Welcome, my name is Tech. Uh, welcome to Bootlosophy and I'm back in Wajik country. I acknowledge the traditional custodians. I've just been up in Darwin in Larrakia country and guess what's arrived that I'm about to open. And here we are, this package from uh, Fortis Boots, Bandung, Indonesia. Um, beautifully wrapped as usual from all Indonesian uh, boot companies. In my experience, I've only had two. <laughs> uh, and this is wrapped in bubble wrap. And then the box inside. Still gonna have to cut this. Get this open. It's also cellophane wrapped, so in fact, it's actually extremely waterproof. And here are the boots. The logo Fortis. This is their service boot pattern, um, which I'm about to open. Packed so securely. Very nice. Tissue paper. That's a lovely package. Oh, I see. Gosh, isn't that absolutely beautiful? The Fortis uh, vacuum packed bag with a pair of laces in it. Flat wax cotton laces. Boot bags. Ride your boots every day. It's very nice. And here they are wrapped in, individually wrapped in plastic. These are in Crazy Horse. Uh, and as I said, this is the uh, service boot pattern in using the SC Daka uh, last, which is a round toe wide, wide uh, toe box last. Uh, Vibram 100 Montagna uh, Commando Lug Sole. Solid. Uh, what can I see here? So you get the Vibram outsole, uh, two layers of leather midsole, and then I believe that's a welt. So it's a stitch down construction on a welt. Um, it's a 270 degree stitch down construction uh, with a 360 degree extra stitch down. Uh, one of those double stitch downs goes through the midsole, the other one goes all the way through the Montagna sole. And the stitching on this is really lovely. I mean, if you look at the stitching, they climb up and down those lugs. There's not, nothing sort of crossing midair that can't be cut. So very neat, all done by hand, which I'll put a video up uh, in, as, as part of this video showing them making it. The stitch per inch is very fine and very even considering this is hand stitched. This is local Indonesian crazy horse leather, which is not horse, it's actually bovine. Uh, but it's called crazy horse because it's used in um, horse tackle, saddles and so on. And it is, it will give you a kind of pull up effect as you can see. Uh, crazy patina and crazy sort of striations happening. I asked for a local pull-up brown tongue. They've given me that. Uh, it's lined, fully lined with local lining leather. I asked for everything local because I thought, you know, let's help the people in Indonesia uh, by making sure that their supply chains all stay within Indonesia. So that's one boot. Take this other one out. These are truly beautifully wrapped. There's the other boot. They come with uh, round cotton laces. You saw the uh, flat waxed ones earlier. That leather is just, just gives you great pull up. 
uh, crazy horse leather it's it's actually quite a uh, resilient leather resilient to scratches and scuffs and things it's basically an oiled new buck so as a new buck is tough this is tough one two three four five uh, eyelets and three speed hooks up the six inch shaft so we'll get them on foot and then uh, do a brief uh, first impressions video on on this so keep watching okay so in this section of the video I'm going to try these Fortis service boots on um, I've just come out of a three-hour flight from Darwin so I'm slightly deaf with the air pressure so forgive me if I'm shouting um, so let's just try these for size I had to take off oh, something in here I had to take off uh, obviously my whites and pea boots that I was wearing up in Darwin uh, ever so comfortable those now we've got those out of the way let's put these on so the fit is pretty good uh, it's quite a roomy round toed last so I'm quite happy with uh, how it feels on the toes the uh, crazy horse leather is quite thick I'll measure it in a minute um, and already feels quite sturdy on my feet put the other one on oh yes very nice fit the speed hooks are nice and big so uh, quite easy to go through this lacing process yeah, I like my boots a little bit rounded at the uh, toe box. Um, snug but roomy at the ball of the toe, uh, ball of the foot, and uh, snug at the heel. Now, I think these are actually um, a, a, a 41, European 41 last, so they're not a combination last. So the, um, currently, the heel feels a bit roomy, but that's all right. I'm, as you can see, I was wearing uh, thin socks. So how do they feel? They feel very nice. The leather is, how can I describe it? Tough but supple. Now, you'll see that the left toe box is a bit darker than the right toe box. That's because Crazy Horse is a um, oily new buck, and it's just that that this little patch of leather on the vamp has obviously received a bit more oil and conditioning um, recently as the boots was made. So that will eventually wear off or a little bit big, big four and everything will even up. Uh, the comfort is very good in my initial wear at least. Um, I think the Vibram V100 lugs are very deep, but also this double leather midsole, leather on the inside. Uh, the arch support is okay. I don't think it's fabulous, especially after wearing my MPs for a, a week, but it's, it's fine, it's passable. And there is a little bit of, is it foam on the insole? I feel a little bit of sponginess, but uh, we'll take them off and have a look and then I'll come back with my initial impressions. I literally have uh, only just arrived home from Darwin, so I hadn't even taken my hat off uh, or my jacket. Um, so I was so excited to get these. Um, so here they are straight away. Uh, so my first impressions are that these are really well-made boots. The stitching all around, uh, triple stitching in the in, in where it counts, where all the uh, 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 reinforcement is required, is extremely fine, very perfectly spaced, single stitching around the collar, uh, uh, reinforcing the hardware. The leather, the crazy Indonesian crazy horse leather, look, I think it's as good as any crazy horse leather I've ever, uh, boots that I've ever tried on. The lining leather, is soft, grainy, supple. I don't know what kind of, of leather it is. I'm assuming it's some kind of goat um, 
or kid leather. The Indonesian pull-up brown tongue is feeling extremely supple. It has a nice, not as nice as Chrome XL pull-up effect, but it does do some pull-up to it. Uh, and it's a semi, semi gusseted tongue. So the tongue is gusseted up to, uh, anyway, in, right up to the fifth island, quite a high way up. Uh, and the stitching inside looks excellent. As I said, the outsole is a V100 Vibram Commando lug sole. So it's quite a uh, deep lug kind of arrangement. You can see that there is a slight, uh, uh, what would you say, a little mound there because they've put in support into the uh, shank area. The heel is an all leather block. One, two, three layers of leather on top of the uh, Montagna rubber and then the uh, Montagna heel top lift on top of that. And then under that leather, there's a double leather midsole and then the welt. The crazy horse leather is turned outwards in a stitch down uh, on top of the welt and is stitched once through the uh, upper leather, the welt and the midsole. And then the second stitch goes right through all the way to that stitch there. The way the welt Oh, the, the way the midsole is, is put together is like almost seamless. It is not a particularly flexible boot, so it does need breaking in because of the uh, double leather uh, midsole as well as the uh, Vibram Commando lug sole. The brass hardware is perfectly fine, perfectly fine, solid. They're backed, so there's some attention to detail. Uh, I should note that the stitching on the Veltskorn or stitch down 270 degree stitching is done by hand and I'll insert some video of it being done here. Uh, and in fact, most of it is done by hand by three artisans uh, and the boss. So four people working in this, in this workshop, literally sitting on the floor, stitching these things together. And when you see that video, you kind of have to admire how close uh, and how really detailed the uh, stitches per inch are uh, on this boot. It has a uh, single piece backstay uh, running with the external uh, heel reinforcement and, uh, and a backstay going up. And the toe is lightly structured. So there is a little bit of, um, uh, uh, thermo, thermo material in there to give it a little bit of shape, but it's very light. So I expect it and I, I, I want it to slightly collapse with wear. Uh, I come back to the leather. It is really nice, really nice crazy horse leather. And you can see how um, it just changes color as you, as you move it around. The inside, there is a a footbed, it's glued in, but I can feel a slight um, sponginess in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's leather, but I think there might be some foam back into that leather uh, before it, it, it sits onto this uh, midsole construction. So, uh, one thing is, in talking to the owner of Fortis Boots, uh, who's a really nice guy, they only started in uh, 2020, so it's a very new Bandong manufacturer. Uh, four people, as I said, working in it. Um, it, it. It's actually quite difficult sometimes to communicate with them because they're all working hard or they have family issues and had to take time off. Um, the wait is currently about um, 10 to 12 weeks, but mainly because of a waiting list that these people are working through. And when they actually make the boot, it's done within a week or so. So there you have it, my initial impressions. And earlier on, you'll have seen the actual unboxing and the trying on. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting some wear in these. So uh, don't forget to click on like and the subscribe buttons. And um, 
I hope to see you soon. Take care, guys.